welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, thanks to Target for sponsoring this video. Uh -huh. Thank you very much. I like to revisit this particular conversation here and there because I oftentimes forget that everyone is not at the same place in their sort of journey to personal confidence that I am. And it's not like I've reached the pinnacle. What a big bird. Goodness gracious, that's a large bird. I've never seen such a big bird on someone's house. Okay, I'm distracted, I'm sorry. So um, a lot of times I do forget that, you know, we're all kind of in a different stage in our journey and I still very frequently get asked, how did you get so confident? How did you get to be confident? How did you gain this confidence? How can I be confident? And there's no like magic answer here, um, but I will say that there are things still to this day that I do on a daily, like I, a daily basis to sort of maintain my level of confidence but it's not something that's just there once you have it you have it that's it. it's not going anywhere that's not how it works it is a daily sort of I don't want to call it a struggle because it's not a struggle but it is something that I'm actively trying to maintain and have in my life and I noticed that the fact of the matter is the things that I'm wearing and the way that I'm presenting myself makes a big difference in the decisions of how I choose to live my life every day and the things that I choose to accept for myself. And oftentimes I think that when it comes to having confidence, especially in your body, uh, it's really important that first and foremost, you believe that you deserve the absolute best. And that's what I'm here to talk about today. So like I said, this video is sponsored by Target. So I will be talking about Target apparel and accessories today. Most importantly, Wild Fable by Target, which is like my brand, my brand. Well, I don't remember what show that's from, but my brand, that's my brand. Like they're my absolute jam. That's what I'm wearing right now. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different looks and I'll kind of talk to you about how it is that I tie these things in to what I need to do every single day so that I can maintain a positive mindset because where my mind is, is where the rest of me is gonna be as well. One thing that I noticed that I do all the friggin' time, or at least I used to do it all the time, is that I would compare myself. Now I'm not gonna act like I don't still do that. It still happens, but one thing that I have found that helps greatly is one, I reduce my media intake, which I've told you guys many, many, many times. If all you do is scroll Instagram and watch other people's highlight reels from their life, it's probably not gonna work out too great for you in the brain area. It's hard, it's hard when all you're doing is consuming someone's best to think that, oh, I'm not doing enough, I'm not good enough, right? So one thing that I do before I even allow any of that noise into my life is I stop and I compliment myself. It sounds super cheesy and corny, at least to my ears. However, I, I don't normally do it out loud. It's really in my brain. But when I'm getting ready for the day, it doesn't matter what I'm putting on. For instance, I could be wearing something as simple as this matching Wild Fable by Target set. And I would tell myself, damn girl, your waist looks good. Your boobs are looking big. Look at that little, oh, look, at, look at the shimmy mama, look at it. <laughs> I could be putting on a super cute dress and some real cute little accessories. Yes, Target apparel and accessories come through. Thank you very much. Okay, you like my little fake cuff though? Yeah, thank you. Uh, my mom won't let me pierce my ears. Just kidding guys. My mom doesn't care if I pierce my ears, I'm just scared. <laughs> anyway, the added little details matter. I know for me personally, I like to look and feel especially feminine. That's kind of what gets my gears <laughs> going. So the little ruffles and the added tie and the print, hey, make me feel like dancing, girl. This is another Wild Fable by Target dress. It is super comfortable and I love it. It's really important for me that before I let the world into my mind, before I open up apps, before I start looking at stuff online, before you know anything else happens in my life, it's super important to me that within my own mind, I believe I look and feel good. I have complimented myself, I have lifted myself up before I go and let the world knock me back down. I cannot tell you how important it is. And I'm not telling you that you need to put on makeup every day and that you need to wear shapewear and that you need to change who you are. I'm just telling you that you need to find something about yourself that makes you feel good, that reminds you you are who you are and you deserve better than what you're getting probably because <laughs> that's life. Tip number two, 
Um, one Another thing, again, a lot of this seems very simple, but it's like stuff that I didn't used to do and it helped me back from getting to the next point in my life. It helped me back from asking for a little bit more for a partnership. It helped me back from expecting a little bit more from a relationship. It helped me back from a lot because I was just walking around with like, well, I hope nobody sees me and I hope I don't take up space and da da da, right? So what I urge you to do is to step outside of your comfort zone. Again, this sounds like a very sort of well, what does that even mean? I'm gonna tell you what it means. When it comes to the way that you dress, the way that you present yourself, the things that you actually put on your body, if you continue to present yourself in the exact same way, you are gonna maintain the exact same mindset. And if that mindset is not one where you are a deserving and worthy person, then that's probably not the mindset that you should continue to have. So one thing I do, which again, it's really easy with Target Apparel and Accessories, right? They have a huge assortment, they have great value, they have versatility, and hello, Target is a one-stop shop, baby, okay? I go on Target.com, I hit up the Target app, whatever, click, click, there's my cat food, click, click, there's a new outfit for me, click, click, there's the kids' school supplies, click, click, there's an outfit for him and her, and the big him as well. Thank you very much, it's a one-stop shop. It's very convenient. It's also extremely affordable, and affordability is about more than just price. It's about the value of an item. It's about how long it's gonna last you. It's about how often are you gonna wear something. So they obviously have very affordable things, especially the Wild Fable by Target Basics baby. Their basics are, they're elevated. They're also very feminine still. They're my faves. One thing that I would recommend doing, like I said, is to step outside of your comfort zone. I used to be the kind of person that would never wear shorts, for instance. I know that's a big plight of fat girls, basically. That's something that a lot of us can't seem to do. And then even when we do it, it's almost painful to do so. Not like physically painful, but we are just berating ourselves in our head thinking that everyone is making fun of us and everyone's thinking poorly of us and oh our legs look so terrible and everyone knows that I shouldn't be doing this because I'm fat. <laughs> Forget all that noise. It's noise. It's all this noise that has convinced us in the first place that we shouldn't be doing certain things. Once you can just turn the volume down on all the people you don't want to hear. Let, let me tell you something. Your own thoughts will get much louder and you control your thoughts so you get to decide what looks good, what feels good, what you should or should not be doing, and again, what you do or do not deserve in life. And what I deserve is to look adorable. How cute are these freaking shorts? Get out of here. I got these in a size 18, and then I got this really cute little top to go with it. The top is in a 1X, and I just, this is like a really typical outfit for me. The shorts are nice and stretchy, so they fit really well. They are on the shorter end, if you're interested. I'll also show you another option here. This is obviously from Target, okay? Check this out. What just happened here? Did I just elevate everything? Did I just take this to the next level? Yes, I did, girl. Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, get it, girl. Oh, 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 look at you. Uh, okay. I was really feeling myself after this, so I'm just gonna let you keep watching it because there's just not enough content of people just being happy with themselves on the internet. <laughs> to tell you that this changed a lot about me when I stopped being so concerned with the things that I was or was not supposed to be wearing as a fat girl or as a woman or whatever and it made me show up differently in the world. Let's take it back, okay? A few years ago I started, I, I was in a very fortunate position to start buying first class tickets, right? And so when I got to the point where I was able to spend a little bit more money and I was able to upgrade my seat to a first class seat, I found that I was not being treated too great, okay? For one, I was walking in there with sweats and a t-shirt on or whatever. I, I didn't really care. Um, and I wasn't really thinking about the way that I was presenting myself, which is not to say that you can't dress like that, you can, but it wasn't giving me the confidence that I needed to do what needed to be done when my partner, oftentimes a male, there would you know, be a guy sitting next to me, especially the older gentleman, the businessman if you will, and they had no problem taking over my space, taking over their space, and then taking over my space, putting their stuff on my trays, putting their arms across the center, putting their shoes on my side, and I was like, am I invisible? Can no one see me? In my whole life as a woman, as a fat girl, 
have always wanted to be smaller. I have always wanted to take up less space because I felt like, well, the less space I take up, the less I'll bother the world, the less the world will look at me, the less they will care, and the better I'll feel because I'll be invisible. And if I'm invisible, nobody can hurt me. And I have to tell you, oh no, am I gonna get emotional? I hope not. So <laughs> I have to tell you that allowing myself the space literally the space to exist and to be somewhere and to deserve something and to say, ha, excuse you, please do not put your stuff in my area. Thank you very much, right? I, maybe I don't say it like that. I'm like, oh, I'll just, I'll just kindly start inching my elbow over and knock their stuff back onto their side, okay? I had to start doing that. I had to start accepting that it was okay for me to take up space. It's okay for you to take up space. You know what else it's okay for you to do? It's okay for you to take a compliment. I wasn't planning on getting into this today, but oh my gosh, it's so hard for women to take compliments. I still struggle heavily with this. It's like, why is it that when you tell me, oh, that's a cute picture, why do I have to tell you, well, you should see the other 87 that I took to get this one? You know what I mean? Why do I have to knock myself down a peg in order for us to be cool? Why do we have to commiserate? Why can't women just be happy and just accept compliments and accept that, hey, yeah, you did good. You look good right? Why can't we just accept that? You don't see dudes doing this. They're just going through life taking credit for, they'll take credit for whatever they want. So when I put on an outfit and someone compliments me, I try very hard to just accept the compliment and not knock myself down. If it makes you feel better, compliment the person back, okay? Genuinely compliment them back. Don't just be like, oh yeah, I really love your dress too. And then and they're wearing jeans. Like, don't be that guy. It changes the way that I interacted with people through work. It changes the way that I interact with people at, I, I wish I could say at school, but this stuff didn't happen until well after I graduated college. But it, it just changed the way that I saw myself. And so in turn, it changed the way other people saw me. And ultimately, I think a lot of our concern is what other people think of us. So and that's definitely helpful. So basically, I'm telling you to step outside of your comfort zone until being outside of your comfort zone is your new comfort zone. Okay, tip number three, Target really, uh, they help to fuel my like personal style, kind of help me feel like I belong. I feel like a lot of us can relate, especially when I'm like, oh, hey, look at this new stuff I got from Target. And someone's like, oh, I got that too. And I'm like, oh my gosh, isn't it so cute? And you know what I'm saying? Like, we belong, We, it's us, right? I like that. So my third tip is really to do things, wear things that accentuate the things that you like about yourself. The fact of the matter is that even in my deepest, darkest, most like, hateful days of Sarah Ray, I still liked stuff about myself. I was convincing myself that they were bad, but if I, again, just lowered the noise and all that mess, I liked so many things about myself. I always loved my eyes. I loved my smile. I loved my big basketball head. I've always loved my waist. I've always loved that I have like a lot of hip and thighs. Thank you, mother. I I appreciate you. There's a lot of stuff that I do love about myself and I wouldn't allow myself to feel good about it because I was convinced that I wasn't supposed to, but once I lowered the noise on all of that extra garbage that society has decided to sprinkle upon us, I realized that there was a lot about myself that I liked and if I dressed in a way that accentuated those things, I always felt better about myself. One thing I started to do when I wanted to shop for things that actually accentuate my favorite parts of my body is I started shopping based on fit and not based on size. The numbers, the letters, they really don't matter as much as the way that you feel matters. Look at me, happy in my roly poly -oly self. Yes, oh my gosh, don't mind me. But all of these clothes that I'm wearing, they're in different sizes, but you can see that they all fit me. I'm comfortable in all of them. The leggings, the crop tops, the dresses, the denim. I'm comfortable in all of it, and that is the most important thing. Even these shorts, they have so little elastic in them, which is not usually my style, but there's obviously no denying that I love the outfit and I feel great in it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be dancing like this and showing you my butt. I only show you my butt if I'm excited about it. 
and clearly I was excited about it. Target Apparel and Accessories has a ton of items that represent me and who I want to be and how I want to look in this dress. Oh, it's full of elastic, you guys. Please go and buy this dress. I want to be twins. Hop on that Target.com right now, girl. <laughs> So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and it's been helpful in some way. And if you want Target to fuel your personal style, you can shop them via Target.com or the Target app. You can of course check out my description box for links to Target apparel and accessories. And like I said, we're not all at the same place in our journeys and sometimes I forget that. And I would love for you guys to join the conversation and share a comment below about your personal journey on personal style and inclusivity and identity in this wild and wacky world. P.S. Target offers free shipping and returns. So just in case something doesn't work out for you, they got you, girl. And again, of course, thanks to Target for sponsoring this video. I very much appreciate it. It is very much appreciated. But if you guys want to see any more from me, you can check me out on Instagram at Sarah Ray. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it was somewhat helpful to you. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want. If you want to see more of this mug. <laughs> Do you? I don't know. Anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Stay cool, girl. Stay cool.